Welcome back. So by the title, you would know that this is trying my followers Subway orders. I've gone for three different orders and I was thinking that I'd be getting like a salad um, or at least a wrap, but apparently everyone has subs. So I've gone for three different subs. Everybody gets them toasted and cheese as well. So they all have that too. But luckily my Subway was really quiet, so it was fine. So I've gone for a meatball marinara toasted with cheese a chicken tikka toasted with cheese and what was the other one? Oh, everybody seems to have bmt which i'd never i had to google what it was maybe i'm really unseasoned in subway orders but anyway we have the goods so here are the three subs haven't eaten anything today and it is half past two not condoning that just letting you know um i feel like i might go for oh that's the bmt so she's like written on each one i'm gonna put up on the screen exactly what the orders were because i'm not seasoned in the youtube stuff yet so i'm still filming on my phone otherwise i'll be reading them out but i'm gonna get camera soon so then i can do it and actually read out everything that's on it but i'm gonna put them on the screen so this is the bmt this is what was on it and who suggested it but let's go for that first, considering that was the most popular. So I was literally just reading through different BMTs, trying to see which one um, with the salad options I preferred. This one had gherkins and olives on. And I love both of those things, so we went for that. I actually usually don't go for olives and gherkins, but the whole point is to try something different, isn't it? And this was on... I, I asked for hearty Italian, I think, and I think she gave me herbs and cheese, but that means that all of the... Um, Wow, that looks really good, actually. All of the subs are going to be on different breads or are on different breads. So, oh, I think I just dropped something. That's what's inside it. The sauce was on this. I think it was Chipotle. I think two of them were Chipotle. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Okay, that's really good. I thought when well, I kept reading BMT, <laughs> I thought people were spelling BLT wrong. That's so silly. <laughs> mm. Oh. Just a disclaimer, I added pickles to all of them. <laughs> I'll tell you why though. Pickles are my favourite things ever. So if I had a sub that didn't have pickles on it, I would just be saying it was nice, but it could have done with pickles. So why would I not just give myself the best chance of liking people's orders by just adding one thing to all of them? I think the other two actually had pickles on anyway, though. Or maybe this one had pickles on it. I added pickles to one of them anyway. You would have seen the screen, so you know. Mm. Lettuce, always got to have lettuce. That is 10 out of 10. Mm. One more bite of this before we move on. Mm. <laughs> They're so messy to eat. Okay. Oh, some pickles fell out. I was going to cleanse the palate and have some squash. I thought I'd made it too strong when I was pouring it because the bottle kind of like slid, but it's fine. I love this cup. It's from Typo. Typo's left Mary Hill now. So sad. Next, we're going to do the meat, meatball, meatball marinara. I've had the meatballs like in the pot before. I don't know why I've never ordered a meatball marinara. Because when I saw it when she was making it, I thought that looks really good. And it's on hearty Italian. I'll put up on the screen what came in it. Um, oh, I think this was the one without pickles, actually. Maybe. I don't know, you'll see on the screen. It'll be right there. This has got red onions, pickles, chipotle, meatball marinara and lettuce. So, I mean, I can try and give you a bit of a... But you can't really see anything right now. The red onions are in the way. I didn't actually... Oh, look at the meatball coming out the end. I should have gone the other way. No, that's the end though. Oh, that's really good. Oh my gosh. I feel like this video is not much me talking. <laughs> but 
I really did need to like expand my um my subway. I fully feel like that. Oh, I thought it was gonna crash into me. Anyway. Got to say, that is really good. I'm going to put it back in a bit more then. I have got to say though, people made it really difficult to choose. There were so many orders that got sent in and I was sitting there for like an hour. Reading through every single one, screenshotted ones I liked. And then when I was like, okay, I've dwindled it down. I went onto my photo camera, photo camera, camera roll to see how many I was choosing between 35. And I thought I dwindled it down. I think there was like, I got at least probably like 200 subway order so then it got really confusing because there's only so many things you can get from subway so then i was just seeing like the same things over and over with, like different sources and i was like trying to decide which one would be better whoa did you see that oh my gosh maybe i need to put that down <laughs> okay this one is definitely falling apart but i do just want to have a couple of more bites a couple of more bites a couple of more bites <laughs> save the rest of that one for later oh i really wanted to talk about a situation that happened to me and my friend when we were at slim chickens the other day so thirsty anyway the weirdest thing happened when we went to slim chickens we were in birmingham right in grand central which is where the slim chickens is and when we got there it was really busy fair enough it was really busy and the whole restaurant was full um and the woman came up to us and she was like oh you know you, do you want to sit in or take out and we said sit in and she goes if you want to sit in you're going to be waiting like half an hour or whatever um and we were like we had stuff to do so we didn't have half an hour to wait and we so we said oh okay she was like you probably just want to do takeaway so we did we ordered on the screens takeaway and we were the only people ordering it was busy people sitting and it was busy people like waiting with their tickets but it wasn't busy like like generally i don't even know what i'm trying to say anyway she said to us we should order takeaway because we weren't going to get a seat then we got our ticket, we waiting for our food and a table comes free and we're the last people waiting, like the first people who got there, people are still waiting but they came after us so we were like front of the queue with our tickets and we said, oh, can we go and sit down? And they were like, yeah, just let me check your ticket and he was like, the guy was like, oh no, you've ordered takeaway so you can't sit in. We were like, oh, well, we were, we wanted to sit in but we were told to do takeaway because we'd, we'd be waiting half an hour but it's only been like two minutes, can we not sit? He was like, no, you've done takeaway, you can't sit. We were like, okay and we were thinking okay maybe it's like so people don't just like order takeaway and then get their food sooner and then jump on a table fair enough but we'd asked if we could do takeaway sit in sorry i'm trying to multitask it's not working before i carry on i'll just give you a little view of this i mean you can't really see anything like that i'll wait till i bite into it so he said we ended up balancing our food because there's nowhere to sit anywhere else. You can't go anywhere else with Slim Chicken's food. If you know Grand Central, the only thing you can do is go downstairs and sit where like people are waiting for trains and we were going shopping. So we were like waiting and we had put our stuff on the Slim Chicken sign and we're standing eating. And then the restaurant empties. There's no one ordering food. There's no one on the screens and there's no one sitting in the restaurant. There's three tables full and it's a bit, at least a 20 table restaurant in Grand Central. So I like said to the worker, oh, can we sit in now? Cause it's like, no one waiting. And he was like, no, cause you've ordered takeaway. If you sit in, you'll literally just be kicked out. I mean, my friend were like, is that like a, 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 a general policy? Like what kind of policy is that? If you come in with your food you've purchased from here, we, we will kick you out. There was no one waiting. There was no one ordering. And we got told we'd get kicked out if we went in. So we finished our food. The fried pickles from there are really good. But I don't know if I'm going to go back because it was really, really rude. And then I went into the restaurant with my bag to put it in the bin. And the woman who was at the start, like, t telling us to order takeaway because we weren't going to get table, said, uh, excuse me, you've been told many times, if you've got takeaway, you cannot go in, leave. And I literally said, I said it with a bit of sass, to be fair, and I don't usually do this. I literally went, I'm going to the bin. And then she was like, she didn't say anything, she just carried on. But she said it, like, in front of people. It was so embarrassing. And I was just like, I'm going to the bin now. But, like, isn't that just a really stupid thing to, like, be really annoyed about anyway? So that really did quite annoy me, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, the chicken tikka one, <laughs> the last one. I was going to get four, but there was people waiting. I felt really bad, so. Mmm. I've never had chicken tikka from here. 
I don't know why, no reason. Mm. <laughs> like a beauty vlogger. <laughs> Turning my food. Mm. Of course, pickles on this. I don't think this bread's as good when it's toasted. This is, is this hearty Italian or Italian? Italian. I'll put the thing on the screen. Again, I don't know if she got the right bread or if I got the right bread. I kind of panicked when I was in there. <laughs> that is really good. I think this is my least favourite. I think it's the bread, honestly, though. And I think it's because it's toasted. I don't feel like you should toast this one. Oh, okay, actually. When you get down to the chicken tikka and the melted cheese, then it's good. But let me know if that's me being funny about the Slim Chicken thing. I don't know, it just really, like, it really bugs me because I was like, we've still paid just as much for the food. And your restaurant is empty and we are standing eating our food off the sign. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I really enjoy these kind of videos. Like, I don't know if it's a food challenge or what, but like getting like your followers to che choose what you eat or like picking. Oh my God, that's so close. What the hell? She got so close to me that I was so scared she was going to go into my car. Anyway, it's a lot easier to see the um, orders if you do on Instagram, like on the question box, because when I'm reading through like TikTok comments, it's so hard to like visualise it and like replies when people are doing two messages and it doesn't go in one. It's all very confusing. It's very easy in the question box on Instagram. So head over there and follow me over there if you don't already. But I presume most people that have me on here have me on there. But if you don't and you want to get involved <clears throat> in these kind of videos, I'm going to make it a series because I think it's really fun. Oh, they are just the best thing ever, those pickles. So Sundays are my new posting day. I mean, I always do a takeaway Thursday. That's my consistent posting, like a takeaway video on TikTok. But I want a Sunday night to be my YouTube posting. And I can to get them out like one a week. Food challenges, mukbangs, vlogs, menu tasting, whatever. Reviews, whatever you want. If I was to rank them. I think <clears throat> maple marinara and Italian in um, Italian BMT. I feel like he's looking up at me as if I've like hit his car. But I'm literally parked so far away, like my dog could swing out and like not even touch his. As she just did, swung it out. <laughs> oh, I was ranking them, wasn't I? Sorry about that. I would say top meatball marinara and then Italian BMT and then this one, but like those two are really close. I am polishing this one off. Mm. I definitely could have um, finished off the. Um, <laughs> I was going to say finished off, like polished off and finished off. Anyway, that was a good one. I enjoyed that one. And <clears throat> enjoying this one. Well, thank you for watching. I hope people aren't too disappointed if I didn't pick theirs. They all sounded really good to be honest. I just I just picked the things that were like most commonly done. And they just sounded the nicest. I want to do this version for like McDonald's hacks. So like I'll do well, I'll do like question boxes, just keep an eye out. And obviously I'll keep uh, on my TikTok tell people when to go over to the Instagram for the polls to give people chance because I know it's so fun, I always participate in those kind of ones where it's like, or like what my followers tell me to eat in a day, and I'll pick like breakfast, lunch and dinner. 24 hour food challenge 100% down for all of it but thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed I really enjoyed this one I would do a part two of this if it was requested for more orders different sauces different salads not having pickles oh my god I, th I think he needs to... can you hear that something's not right with that car <laughs>
Something's not right with that car. Oh my god. Anywho, catch you later. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this and comment suggestions for other videos you want to see. Bye.